today's friday man we've got a cool weekend coming up yeah today is a bit a day that's a bit long overdue we've tried to shoot with this guy a handful of times disaster after disaster as we've tried to have photo shoots with him uh, it's our buddy tyson who's got a really nice white fifth gen prelude that you may have actually seen in our seattle video that we just uh put out a couple weeks ago yeah the first time we tried to shoot with him somebody smoked his car where it was parked in front of his house like the day before the shoot and then the second time we tried to shoot with him his like whole front lip fell off on the highway today i'm hoping that he actually makes it here and we go shoot his car today, so that'll be pretty sweet. Like when I started my car life, I had two fifth gen preludes. Fixed. Sunglasses mechanic. Yeah, that's clean. I'm pretty sure somebody literally just crashed their car into that fence and knocked it down and now this spot is just wide open which is super yeah. sick. Wheels are my favorite part for sure. I feel like, like he had it on Advan AVS Model 5s, they're 18s and they look really cool, but I think he made the right call putting 17s on the car. I think that's like the right size wheel for the chassis. Triple plate chroming your monoblock sport wheels, it's cool as hell. Like you get all the benefits of having sporty monoblocks, but then you still get to have like drug dealer ass polished wheels. So it's like the perfect in between between like running your bronze T37s versus your like full chrome VSKFs. Like, I don't know, I like 57 DRs, like they're sick. When I had my E36, I wanted these seats so bad. Anyone's in the uh, JDM market, you know these aren't cheap and they're kind of hard to find, especially with all the rips and stuff. Enjoy good taste horn button on the NRG. We actually, we actually brought them down to the river here because we're gonna throw the NRG in it. Oh. For once, this is Alex's shoot, not mine. This way, back, right there. Can I borrow that lens yeah. so I can show them what it looks like? Oh my god, Dream Filter, Alex POV. It's so blown the fuck out, one sec. Is it it mint? B-Movie 3. Dude, this lens oh, is Oh wait, so how many B-Movies are there? I think there's only one B-Movie, man. B-Movie 2. Me, we are you like jazz? I fucking love jazz. <laughs> should we get Adam to do some donut? Yeah, we should get Adam to do some donut. <laughs> Alright, so we just wrapped up shooting with Tyson and uh, now we're going to follow Adam back to the Team Sexy Cowboys house and see what cars they're working on as well as uh, what projects they've got in the works for uh, summer touring which is coming up.
Nelson. What's up, Probably know him as Pretty Milk. He makes music. Tell us, tell us a little bit about this car. Uh, well, this is an 84 Cressida. It's a M MX-63. Paid 600 bones for this bitch almost a year ago. Got it from some 17-year-old kids. Went through like three different auto transmissions because I'm just trying to do it as cheap as possible. But I do got a 55, W55 for it to go in. Three days ago, drove it for the first time. Got insurance on it, moved springs, threw my X3 stars. Like the, these wheels were on the X3. Throw the, throw the fucking wheels on it and drove it back here. Yeah. Hell yeah. This car's coming to summer touring? Yeah, hopefully. Two Team Sexy Cowboys team cars. C31 uh, and Archer Cell. Sick. Oh, sexy boy. Sexy boy. Sexy boy. So we're gonna be painting it and doing a whole bunch of other fun stuff. Yeah, new color. New color, that's exciting. Looks good. Yeah, we painted both of these cars in here. Yeah. If anybody has any guesses as to where this steering wheel came from, you let us or know. Where is the steering wheel missing from? <laughs> where is the steering wheel missing from? You let us know in the comments. It's like, a, like in those old skate games, like a Tony Hawk. You just fucking go on rooftops and steal You find shit. things. Yeah. Check it. Yeah. yeah what, what part is this for? Oh, this that's for... When you gotta go, man. When you gotta take a big. Up the go. <laughs> oh my god. Hello. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the Civic just birthed the Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, 700 bucks. 700 bucks. 700 bucks, man. Yeah. Well, it's been a while since I've picked up this camera and filmed a video on my own. In a couple of our past videos, we mentioned that our friend Josh, who lives just across the border from us and runs the brand Out of Love, is hosting his own event called Cars and Anime and invited us to come. And I decided that I'm gonna bring my car out to its first ever car show. It'd be pretty fun to actually enter it in the show and park it inside. Originally, we were thinking that we would probably just come down with like a couple of our cars, maybe park them outside. And uh, I think it'll be fun to film this as a vlog. I'll try my best to film some cinematic bits for Dylan to edit later. And uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna put this car in the car show and uh, I'm excited to see how it all goes. But yeah, show prep was pretty straightforward for the car. Um, gave everything a little wipe down, good thorough car wash, grabbed a paint pen, you cleaned up a bunch of the little chips and stuff on the lower parts of the fiberglass. Cleaned up the interior, grabbed a vacuum, and uh, wiped everything down. After this, I'm driving over to a spot where I'm meeting up with a bunch of other locals that are heading to this event, and uh, yeah, we're gonna cruise down together. Okay, so on the way to the zoo, I am coming down the highway and I ran into Jake and Carly. Their cars are looking real good right now. Carly got a bunch of paint work done on her car. Front lip got done, side skirts got done, roof wing, rear bumper, quarter panel. Hey, Look who showed up. Ugh. Whoa, I thought you were gonna actually go for it. I thought about it. Let me today. turn my music off so you don't get sued on YouTube. show and Dylan's not here today like I mentioned and Jake and Carly are eating snacks so once again we're gonna give Bull Bunkin the God's sleepiest man the microphone and he's gonna give you his thoughts on some of the cars that are here at uh, Out of Love today. All right so uh, I actually haven't really taken a good look in here yet at a glance it looks like we have a good mix of 
nice and maybe a little bit of not so nice but uh we're gonna go take a look and maybe i'll change my mind about that uh this is 14 this is uh this is alex's car everybody knows that uh very tastefully modified car we know the history of the car and uh, the guy who actually built this car obviously cared a lot about it and uh poured his soul into it and uh alex has just maintained that you've done a good job okay so nathan is uh kind of my boy he used to be uh kind of shy with me before he wouldn't really approach me or like talk to me much uh because some people find me intimidating but i actually love his car and i love that he drifts this thing like it's clean look at this and this thing gets drifted like how many people drive cars that look like piles of <laughs> like look at this this gets drifted and he he does the work to make it stay nice looking Keep your drift car looking good, please, for the love of God. Just the fact that nobody, <laughs> nobody will ever build one of these and not put a rocket bunny kit on it. It's like, dude, you don't have to put a rocket bunny kit on a car to be cool or like meet some kind of weird standard. Like this is very inspired from like early to mid 2000s style. As far as like my realm of knowledge goes with this aesthetic. Uh, I last saw this car in the dark and now I get to finally appreciate that beautiful green uh, that is on this thing. Laden in nice green, good style, um, carbon fiber hood, we like that. He's got, like this is an R32 and uh, everyone knows my, my stance on uh, front end swaps but this thing is very good and it's actually a bit of like a, I almost kind of feel like a throwback to the old BR R32 that had an R34 front clip on it way back in the day. Go familiarize uh, yourselves with that. Take a quick look at that. All right, so I don't know jack shit about this car, but I know I like it. I love the chunky meaty tire. We love that meatloaf, you know what I'm saying, dog? This is, this is excellent. This is awesome very important car please do not cross the fence uh, it's really cool seeing some of the locals out here doing um, their brand stuff and bringing their cars out Terrell and his girlfriend have brought out their booth Kwai Kuma and she's got her awesome little Miata here and they just put it on some amazing Hayashi Yayoi's looks so so good on this Alphard, 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 Alphard. Oh yeah, this is the brother to ours, I guess. Another brand using an Alphard as the tool that it's always supposed to have been. These things are the best, the most useful vehicles ever. I tell you, if you gotta move homies and products around, go buy an Alphard. They're so good and they're so cheap. And it's just a Toyota Camry. Oh man, this makes me miss my R33 so much, but mine couldn't even compare to this. I mean, this is an actual GTR with Nismo LMs and really nicely put together engine such a nice looking car yeah I mean it wouldn't be cars and anime without an initial D tribute car this one is really nicely put together we should actually uh, pull up a Google translate of what's on the door because some people love trolling people who buy stickers for the door and try to do replications of these it says something completely different but this car is actually beautiful um, I'm gonna pull up my phone and we're gonna do it. all right you got your money's worth. You did not get trolled. No Good troll. job. So this is called a Subaru Bistro. Uh, I was looking at the badge on the grill and it says Vivio and I was like thinking to myself, damn, that sounds like a coffee machine. And then we look at the tag up on the dash and it says it's a Bistro. It's kind of interesting. Definitely strange. I've never seen one of these before. So here we have uh, the nicest R32 that I've seen in here so far. Rocking some Ray's Grand Lights 57 DRs. Very good choice. Budget friendly if uh, you're not into paying TE37 prices for a good six spoke wheel. And then, uh, yeah, we've got a Rocket Bunny GR86. Um, personally, for me, I don't really care about Rocket Bunny, but I think this one's actually very, very refreshing to look at um, compared to everything else that's in their catalog. And uh, it definitely complements the car and maintains flow similarly to uh, the way the FRS was when the FRS Rocket Bunny kit first came out. We know all the goth bitches in here would love to spray paint that black and make a hearse. Okay, I didn't know that this car even existed and I noticed that it had BC plates on it. This thing is fantastic. The arrow on it is so cool. I personally, I love this, this livery and uh, yeah, just the way the car is set up is fantastic. What a nice RX-7. 
Normally I don't really talk about RX-8s or even pay them that much attention, but I really like how simple and clean this one is. I mean, the Advans are nice, like the ride height is decent, and it's just super clean and not like covered in stickers. It's a pretty nice looking car. I don't know what's been going on with me lately, but I've really been liking simple, clean 350Zs with like nice wheels and low. And this one definitely ticks all those boxes. So uh, at Weckfest a couple weeks ago, uh, this car actually caught me off guard. I saw the front of it and I was like, wow, uh, that is rad. And then walked to the side and this is actually an FRS and realizing that uh, it is in fact uh, front end swap, just like, you know, flow. Like I say in the previous videos, flow is maintained and the execution is good. All right, so I actually didn't get to take the pictures that I was hoping I would get to take of this car at Wagfest, but I'm glad it's here. Uh, this thing is top tier right here. Like if I was gonna get an FD and put my, my grubby little mittens all over it, this is pretty much what it would end up looking like. Uh, I hate Miatas, but this is sick. <laughs> Dude, Look at I feel this like thing. You say that a lot. A lot of these cars, you're like, oh, I don't like them, but no, this but one is good. I love what I love, and I hate what I hate. And this thing, dude, look at those chubby little wheels sticking out of there. This thing looks like it could actually shred on a, like a nice little canyon road, or even just like a little track, or like a rally cross, or something like that. Maybe not rally cross, road cross. Um, yeah, no, this is cool. I think that's going to be a wrap for this video. Um, what a fun event this has been today. Uh, Josh, you and Morgan have done an awesome job hosting this out of love. You guys are going to the moon. This is going to be a big year for you guys. I can't wait to see what you do for Cars and Anime next year. Um, thank you so much for having me in my car here. I'm looking forward to the award ceremony later and maybe I win something. That would be kind of crazy considering it's the first time I've ever brought my car to an event. Um, but yeah, overall it's been super, super fun. Lots of really nice cars here. It's cool to see the way that uh, the car scene supports a brand that's just across the border here in Linden. And uh, nice to see a really interesting mixture of Vancouver and Washington cars. So yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Um, make sure you go and uh, check out our website, check out the store, maybe even buy a sticker. That'd be pretty sweet. Okay, so I guess I didn't really film that much of an outro at the Out of Love event because uh, Dylan actually ended up coming out for a little bit and took his camera with him so he could go film at Rude Boy's place. And uh, unfortunately that meant that I didn't have any of the camera gear for the last you know, hour, hour and a half of the event, which is actually where I won um, the top 10 award with my S14. So yeah, it was super cool. I mean, I didn't, I didn't go there with any intention of winning anything. I didn't think necessarily that my car would be in that caliber of car it was really encouraging to see that there was uh four canadian cars in the top 10 all of them you know inc including me so that's myself and three of uh of other canadians so uh yeah thanks guys so much for watching the video and uh, we'll see you next wednesday Boom.